be or not to be. To be or not to be. To be or not to be. Be or not to be. To be or not to be. To be or not to be. To be. To be. Or not a bee. That is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune. Take up arms, brilliant, against those cursed doubts that do plague on man. Mm. To die. To sleep. No more. And by sleep to say we end the heartache and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to. Oh, that this too, too solid flesh should melt. Melt, melt, thaw, and resolve itself into a dew. Or that the everlasting had not fixed his cannon gate self-slaughter. It is a consummation devoutly to be wished. To die, to sleep. To dream. Aye, there's the rub. For in that sleep of death, what dreams may come when we have shuffled off this mortal coil. Mm, aye, there's the rub. To die, to sleep. Whoops! <laughs> Hamlet falls off the battlements. To give us pause, there's the respect that makes calamity of so long life. For who would bear the whips and scorns of time? Proud man's contumely, the insolence of office, the law's delay, the pangs of despised love. When he himself might his quietus make, who would fardels bear to grunt and sweat under a weary life? But that the dread of something after death. The undiscovered country from whose boon no traveler returns puzzles the will and makes us rather bear those ills we have than fly to others that we know not of. Us. Conscience does make cowards of us all. Let's face it, it's the ghost that's selling this show at the moment. <laughs> Joe Public loves the ghost. He loves the sword fights. He loves the crazy chick in the see-through dress who does the flower gags and then drowns herself. <laughs> but no one likes Hamlet. No one.